The cable stayed bridge is a bridge form in which the weight of the deck is supported by a number of nearly straight diagonal cables in tension running directly to one or more vertical towers. The towers transfer the cable forces to the foundations through vertical compression. So in this video, we are going to discuss Norway engineers shock China, $47 billion floating highway, incredible mega projects. The video is going to be amazing so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Cable stayed bridges offer a variety of possibilities to the designer regarding not only the materials for the deck and cables, but also the geometric arrangement of the cables. The designs of cable stayed bridges in the United States have reflected trends in both cable arrangement and deck material. Precast segmental bridge construction was introduced in the 1960s and it is characteristic for this type of construction that segments are match cast, which means that each segment is cast against the previous one so that the end face of one segment will be an imprint of the neighbor segment, ensuring a perfect fit at the erection. Precast segmental construction is a fast construction method determined by the time required for the erection. The major part of the work is performed in the precasting yard, protected against inclement weather. The time-dependent deformations of the concrete become less important, as the concrete may have reached a higher age by the time the segments are placed in their final position. Based on the aforementioned arguments, precast segmental construction can be considered as an accelerated bridge construction ABC technique. Digital infrastructure elements such as BIM already have features that facilitate the involvement of every supplier and stakeholder in the process from the very beginning of the project. Everyone gets involved as early as possible. These are important things in terms of performance measurement, planning, and good use of time. Such digital supports provide significant benefits to the construction industry and, of course, to the formwork and scaffolding industry. Bridges are structures that are built to overcome a geographical or unnatural obstacle and to ensure that traffic continues from one side of this obstacle to the other. Different definitions can be made for the arch-type bridge or suspension bridge. Bridges are structures that serve for many years. For example, Mostar Bridge has been standing for centuries. Coastal Highway Route E39 goes all the way from outside Trondheim in the middle of Norway, following the west coast down to Kristiansand. To be totally correct, the E39 continues after a ferry from Kristiansand in Norway to Herschels in Denmark to the city of Aalborg in Denmark. The seven fjords have a width of 1.6 to 5 kilometers and a depth of 400-1300m which means that the fixed links will be bridges longer and deeper than ever before. The total length of E39 along the coast of Norway is 1100 gam. Today you can drive this route in approximately 21 hours, including 7 ferry crossings. The goal of the project Coastal Highway Route E39, also known as the Ferry Free E39, is to make it possible to drive the distance in 13 hours and have fixed links instead of the 7 ferries. Bakhnafjord, Norwegian Bakhnafjorden, inlet of the North Sea in southwestern Norway. At its mouth, between the southern tip of Karm Island and the northern tip of the Tungens Peninsula, it is 12 miles 20 kilometers wide. Bakhnafjord proper extends inland for about 28 miles 45 kilometers. Its principal branches include Skjoldfjord and Sandegfjord to the north, Sadafjord and Heilsfjord to the northeast, and Lysfjord and Hogsfjord to the southeast. It is dotted by many islands and islets. Among the more important are the Kvitz Islands, in the center of the fjord's entrance, Bog, inside the north entrance, Finn and Rens Islands, in the middle of the fjord, and Ombo, near its head. The city of Stavanger is the only large settlement along Bakna Fjord. The great depth of these submerged valleys, extending thousands of feet below sea level, is compatible only with a glacial origin. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.